Welcome back. Today is a special bonus upload. I wasn't expecting to do this video, but I'm excited to show you guys this ombre design. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my so I decided to do a video on this because around this time last year I did a very similar design except for I did solid color blocking tips. So this one's a little different because we're going to be ombre four different colors. Yes, four. So it's going to be two colors on each nail. So I have a blue and purple on this one, a blue and pink on this one, a pink and purple on this one, and so on and so forth. And I also used this color, Cashmere Dreams, as the base color. It's an absolutely perfect, nice, light, creamy nude, like super light. Also for the tutorial, I'm going to be obviously be doing it on a swatch stick because, you know, my nails are already done. So I buffed up the surface and I do have a disclaimer. If you use peel base on your nails like I did, I recommend doing a very thin layer of clear because color blocking can be a pain in the ass when you're trying to remove tape or if you're like me who color blocks with a, a sharp tool. The peel base kind of comes up, so... Anyways, but if you don't use peel base, ignore all that. Just start putting base bond on your nail and dip in cashmere dreams. I'm not a normal color blocker. I'm not really good at using tape, so I use a sharp edge or a sharp tool instead. So what I do is I kind of just like cut into the dip powder because guess what it's still wet it's still malleable it's still easy to be fudged up and wrinkled and get your fingerprint all over it so I literally just take these scissors and I cut like at an angle on the side I do not recommend that you do this technique on your natural nail I personally use builder gel on my nails if you don't use builder gel or anything under your dip I recommend doing a thin layer of clear dip powder before you do this technique because you do not want to be digging into your natural nail with any kind of sharp tool Every time you make me nervous and I lose my so you can see the edge here isn't perfect but it's at like around the same angle that I did on my nails so we're on the right track and don't worry if it's not a hundred percent like clean edge it's okay we're gonna file that later so I'm gonna do this technique a total of three times with doing the slanted edge and dipping in cashmere dreams so no cutting is involved because all I'm doing is applying my base bond directly over that dip powder and then dipping in cashmere dreams so I'm making sure not to go over onto the left hand side where I already cut out the edge that I needed if you do go a little bit over on the left hand side, it's okay. You can just like kind of like scrape it off like right here. And that's the beauty of the dip powder still being wet. So this is my final dip of Cashmere Dreams. I'm dipping that, going to let it completely dry, dust it off, and then activate. The reason I'm activating at this point right now is because I want to harden this dip powder so that for two reasons. One, so I can file that shape and like edge, that slanted edge really sharp. And two, so when I do my ombre, when I'm doing all that, that ombre isn't staining this dip powder. So you can use um, a regular hand file or you can use like these metal files. Either one works, it doesn't matter. Just run the straight edge along the side of your dip powder where that slanted edge is and file it straight. Now 
I'm satisfied with the slanted edge. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to ombre directly over that. So I'm not really worried about it being completely clear and cleaned up. So I'm actually going to buff the surface of Cashmere Dreams. You don't have to do it right now. I just feel like doing it right now. So I'm going to do it right now. All right, it's time for the fun part. So the fun part for me is being able to ombre two colors onto each slanted edge. You do have to be a little precise where you place your base bond, but it's okay. Even if you mess up a little bit, it's all right, you'll be fine. I do recommend having two ombre brushes handy and a thin dip powder liquid that has like a small brush. So I'm using Manny Boss Dip Liquids. I'm going to show you the brush right here. She does have pretty thin brushes and the liquid itself is thin, so it makes this technique very much possible. So I'm actually putting the brush on its side, the skinny side, and I'm painting on the amount of base bond that I need on the side there. And I'm going to start ombreing with my eyeshadow brushes on each color onto the side. So I'm going to be doing this process a total of three times, just like I did with the dipping in Cashmere Dreams. It's going to have the same amount of dips on each side. So I'm going to paint on the base bond for a second time and then ombre both the blue and the pinky purple. So this was the third and final time that I was doing that ombre technique on the side there. I'm going to let that dry. So while that is drying, I want to explain to you guys the rhyme and reason behind the ombre color designs that are on the side. There's actually a rhyme and a reason behind which nail got which color. So you might be looking at this like, how did you pick what colors? So if you look at my thumb, it goes from pink to like purple, purple to blue, blue to pink, pink to purple, purple to blue if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a cascading color. It really, really does flow from one finger to another. So the purple to blue, the tip is blue, up here is blue. And then it goes down to like a pinky purple. So the next nail is pink and it goes down to a pinky purple. And then we go over to purple on this nail and then back to blue. So I'm gonna activate my nail now that it's all dry and ready to go. Activate all that and then shaping and buffing should be done at this time. So make sure you file shape and buff into the design you want. I did not clear encapsulate. You can if you want to, but I didn't feel a need to because these colors are so pigmented. They're perfect. In case you were wondering how I got the stars on my nail, I used a stamping plate, but if you are talented enough to freehand this, go for it. So I'm just using the stamping plate, some white stamping polish, just all my stamping tools. It's pretty, pretty simple, but I absolutely love this stamping plate. It is a Moyu London collaboration with Kelly Marissa. She's an amazing YouTuber and she just loves galaxies and stars and planets. So I'm just going to put that kind of over top of all the ombre that I just did. It does help obscure that line. So if your line is not straight, you don't even have to worry about it. 
I'm almost done. Like, you're like, what? That's it? That's it? Yes, that's it. So at this point, you just have to top coat it, and your top coating preference is up to you. For this video, I'm going to be using a gel top coat, but if you have a smudge-free top coat or nail polish top coat, go for what you want. But I actually, on my own nails, used a smudge-free top coat, and then when that dried, I dabbed on a little bit of activator, and when that dried, I did two layers of dip powder top coat. Um, if you want a tutorial on that, I do have one on my channel, and you can like watch that in full detail. But for the quickness and effectiveness of this video, I'm just going to put on a gel top coat and cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds, and this tutorial is just done. It's practically done. That's it. You just have to seal it in, and then you can admire the beauty. Speaking of admiring the beauty, let's just look at this like ugh, I just love that ombre and how the color is kind of melted together to create more of a deeper purple in the middle I love this mani so so much more than I thought I would I'm so excited about it and if you like this video too please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because I have more videos coming